morning students today we'll discuss the topic limits in this topic for j double mains limits and continuity together you will get one mark but for the ct state level ct every year there will be minimum one question and even maximum two questions you are getting now you have studied the definition of the limit means a function f of x is said to be tends to a limit l as x tends to a okay here i will not discuss the definition in detail a function fx is said to be tends to a limit l as x tends to a here the meaning of x tends to a x tends to a means what x is approaching a so when you say that x is approaching a on the real line so here minus infinity to plus infinity so 0 1 and say 2 and say this is the number a similarly here minus 1 minus 2 and so on now <coughs> this is the limit point that is a x tends to a so you are approaching x tends to a means what one from the left hand side you can approach and another from the right hand side you can approach when you are approaching from the left hand side you are approaching through the values less than a so here all these values they are less than a and when you are approaching from the right hand side you are approaching from the values greater than what greater than a means left hand limit through the values less than a right hand limit means what through the values greater than a so when you calculate both of these two values suppose lhl is equal to limit f of x as x tends to a minus and rhl is equal to limit f of x as x tends to a plus here the meaning of a plus and a minus means what a minus means what in a you are minusing something means that is the value less than a similarly a plus means what for a you are adding something that is greater than a when both of these two values are equal we say that limit of the function is existing otherwise limit does not exist student please remember when you are calculating the limit so if a single function is there straight away you can substitute the values suppose inequalities are given means the same function is defined in the different ways then you select the function less than a and greater than a at the two different cases you calculate the limit and if both of these two are equal then we say that limit of the function exists otherwise limit does not exist okay now then we write these two together these two together is written as limit f of x as x tends to a is equal to what is equal to l now when you are calculating the limit this is the basic definition left hand limit and right hand limit when we are calculating limit straight away we substitute the values of x say for example limit of x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 as x tends to 2 here a function is defined in the only one way that means less than 2 greater than 2 does not arise suppose if the less than 2 greater than 2 is given then as per that you select the function but here a single function is there so now as per the limit i will have to replace the value of x by what by 2 so you are getting here minus 2 square 2 square minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2 that means what 0 divided by 0 that is 0 divided by 0 is called the meaningless or indeterminate forms then in this case how to find the limit the question arises here you are replacing x by 2 but on the contrary we are getting here 0 by 0 so this 0 by 0 means what meaningless means has no meaning or indeterminate cannot be determined so in this case what we should see here x tends to means what x value is equivalent to 2 exactly not equal to 2 but a number close to 2 but we consider numerically as x equal to 2 only so when x tends to 2 means what x equal to 2 x equal to 2 means what you can write x minus 2 equal to 0 or you can also write 2 minus x is equal to 0 that means there is a factor either x minus 2 or 2 minus x this value is equal to 0 now you can see here x minus 2 is there in the numerator and even it is there in the denominator also both of these two values if you determine calculate that is eliminate these two limit of x minus 2 into x plus 2 and divided by x minus 2 as x tends to 2 so this x minus 2 and x minus 2 term get cancelled so now only x plus 2 is left 
Now this x plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to how much? Equal to 4. That's it. Same example. When you are replacing x equal to 2, here you are getting 0 upon 0 form. The same one, after eliminating the factor x minus 2, you are getting its value is what? That is 4. So this shows what? When you calculate the limit, first you just check only the denominator. Put x equal to 2. Suppose if the denominator tends to 0, irrespective of the numerator. Suppose the numerator is 0 and denominator also 0 upon 0 you can. If the numerator is not 0, some number, denominator is 0, any number divided by 0 means what? Infinity, there is not defined. So that means instead of calculating both numerator as well as denominator, you calculate only the denominator. If the denominator tends to 0, so then it is understood that x minus a, that means a value is here 2. So x minus a is one of the indeterminate factor that has to be eliminated. Now what have we in the next step here? So the indeterminate factor x minus 2 is there in both numerator as well as the denominator. So I have eliminated the factor x minus 2. Then after eliminating the factor, then you are getting x plus 2. Put x equal to 2, you are getting 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So 4 is the limit. So now here question comes here. Suppose x, x tends to minus 2 is there. If x tends to minus 2, what is the indeterminate factor? x plus 2 will be the indeterminate factor. So then eliminate that x plus 2 the indeterminate factor. So that means here care has to be taken when you calculate the limit. So that means uh, first you check the denominator. If the denominator tends to 0, so the indeterminate factor must be there in both numerator as well as denominator. Eliminate that. After eliminating, you calculate the limit. Now, let's see what are the indeterminate forms. Indeterminate forms. <coughs> now, these indeterminate forms are so 0 divided by 0. That means cancel 0, 0 equal to 1, not 2. So, 0 divided by 0. Infinity divided by infinity, 0 raised to 0, infinity raised to infinity, these are known as the indeterminate form. So, while calculating the limit, you eliminate this indeterminate factor and then evaluate the limit. Students, in the first year PUC, you have studied the standard limits. All those formulas I uh, will give in the notes itself. That is limit of, the first one is limit of sin x divided by x as x tends to 0. This is also equal to limit of x divided by sin x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1. Now limit of tan x divided by x as x tends to 0 is also equivalent to limit of x divided by tan x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1. And limit of cos x as x tends to 0 is also equal to 1. Student, please remember where x is in radian. The very important point is what? x is in radian. Suppose if x is not in radian, if it is in terms of degree, convert radian in terms of degree in terms of radian, then evaluate the limit. Now these are the standard forms we have studied in the first VC. Excluding this, there are some more forms also we have studied. That is limit of e raised to x minus 1 divided by x as x tends to 0 is equal to log e to the base e is equal to 1. Now limit of a raised to x minus 1 upon x as x tends to 0 is equal to log of a to the base e. And similarly limit of 1 plus x raised to 1 upon x as x tends to 0 is equal to e. Limit of 1 plus k into x raised to 1 upon x as x tends to 0 is equal to e raised to k. Now limit of 1 plus 1 upon x raised to x as x tends to infinity. See here, both of these two. Here x tends to 0 is there. Power is 1 by x. Means put x equal to 0 here, 1 upon 0 is infinity. Here, 1 plus 1 upon x raised to x. Put x equal to infinity, the power is infinity. So, both of these two forms will be very particular. So, limit of 1 plus 1 upon x raised to x is equal to e. And similarly, limit of 1 plus k divided by x raised to x as x tends to infinity value is equal to e raised to k.
So these are the forms which you have studied in the first year PC. Students, other than this formula, a very important formula which you have not studied in the first PC, I will give that form. Now the formula is suppose if limit of f of x raised to g of x is in function raised to function. Limit of f of x raised to g of x. It may be either x tends to 0 or x tends to infinity. Limit of f of x raised to g of x as x tends to infinity. So this limit is equal to e raised to limit of g of x into the bracket f of x and minus 1 as x tends to what? x tends to infinity. If x tends to infinity is there, you write x tends to infinity. If x tends to a is there, you write x tends to a. So the very important form is limit of f of x raised to g of x as x tends to a is equivalent to limit e raised to limit g of x into the bracket f of x minus 1. Else you can also solve such type of examples by taking the log both the side. Instead of going for the log, using this form, uh, it will be a very useful one. Now students, now in the theory part, you have studied the limit and different forms, you have studied way of factorization formula, then a standard form x raised to n minus a raised to n dot. That will be a lengthy process. Now in case of limits, uh, there is one formula that is called as L orbital rule. L, here S is silent, L orbital rule. So what this L orbital rule says, if limit of f of x upon g of x as x tends to a is equal to 0 upon 0 form. As you have seen in the earlier example, limit of x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 as x tends to 2 is equal to 0 divided by 0. So fx is x square minus 4 and g of x is x minus 2. So now it is 0 upon 0 form. In such type of examples, what you have to do? We have to find the derivative of numerator and denominator. Please remember, when you are calculating the derivative, it doesn't mean that you have to use the rule u upon v. No, just you differentiate numerator separately and denominator separately. Suppose in the numerator, product of two functions are there, use u into v form there. And if you are a product of two is there, then use u into v. But differentiate numerator as well as denominator separately. Now e1, that is the same limit is equivalent to limit f dash of x divided by g dash of x as x tends to a. The question comes here. Suppose e1 after finding the limit also. There are some examples. e1 after finding the limit, you are getting 0 divided by 0 form. So in such case, you go for the next limit. That is limit of f double dash of x divided by g double dash of x as x tends to a. This process will be continued up till the indeterminate form is eliminated. There is no only one or two line. Till the indeterminate form is reduced, you can find go on finding the derivatives. So then it is also equivalent to fn of x divided by g gn of x. After eliminating the indeterminate form, then only you substitute the limit. Now see this example. In the earlier case, what can I done here? You have calculated the factors and simplified your answer was 4 like. Now let me apply this L hospital rule now. Limit of x square minus 4, that is 2x divided by 1 as x tends to 2 now. There is no x term in the denominator. Now put x equal to 2. So that is 2 into 2 equal to how much? 4. Okay. So one more example I would like to bring for your notation. 1 minus cos x divided by x square as x tends to 0. So this was a very famous question and the answer was 1 by 2. Here we use the formula 1 minus cos x equal to 2 sin square x upon 2. 1 minus cos x equal to 2 sin square x upon 2. Then multiply and divided by x square upon 4 line. Then using L hospital group. Now see, put x equal to 0. Cos 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Divided by 0. So 0 upon 0. Now the L hospital group says limit of derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of minus cos x is plus sin x divided by derivative of x square is 2x as x tends to 0. That is equal to. Now 1 upon 2 is constant and uh, limit of sin x upon x, the standard formula is equal to 1. That is equal to how much here? 1 by 2. See, 
they used to carry four five steps the same example just by one or two steps you got an answer so when you are calculating the meter see that first you check the denominator if the denominator tends to zero then straight away you go for the l orbital rule so l orbital rule is one of the important formula to calculate the limit students now we will take uh, some of the example now these example they are of a state level ct question as well as the jwe main questions also now the first example i am taking here limit of limit of cube root of 10 minus x 10 minus x minus 2 and divided by x minus 2 as x tends to this is the example see i'll check only the denominator means in competitive try to minimize the time the writing and save the time here limit no need of writing you are calculating the limit only and put x equal to here 2 minus 2 means what 0 that means straight away you are getting 0 upon 0 upon no need of checking denominator numerator even though if you check you will get 0 upon 0 upon for example 10 minus 2 is 8 what is cube root of 8 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so that is 0 upon 0 upon so now I am using the L capital rule limit of try to avoid writing limit every repeated limit of now derivative of 10 minus x raised to 1 by 3 that is 1 upon 3 into 10 minus x raised to 1 upon 3 minus 1 what is 1 upon 3 minus 1 minus 2 upon 3 into derivative of 10 is 0 and derivative of minus x is minus 1 next minus derivative of 2 is 0 and divided by in the denominator derivative of x is 1 I'll repeat one side 1 by 3 10 minus x raised to 1 minus 1 by 3 means minus 2 upon 3 into derivative of 10 minus x 0 minus 1 and minus 0 as x tends to what x tends to 2 so that is equal to limit of now 1 by 3 as it is 10 minus x raised to minus 2 by 3 and into minus 1 divided by 1 now put x equal to 2 now that is 1 by 3 now 10 minus 2 means minimize the steps here 10 minus 2 is how much 8 so 8 raised to minus 2 upon 3 once again how you can write 8 2 raised to 3 minus power is 2 by 3 okay and here into minus 1 this 3 and 3 get cancelled so that is equal to so 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 into 2 raised to minus 2 means what 1 upon 2 raised to 2 that is 1 by 4 so which is equal to minus 1 divided by 12 is the answer for this see within two steps you can get the answer so this is the use of L orbital rule most of the most of the examples in the limits they are coming under the the L orbital rule only so the next example students here limit of limit of x plus 1 divided by root of 6x square plus 3 and plus 3x as x tends to minus 1 limit of x plus 1 divided by root of 6x square plus 1 plus 3x as x tends to minus 1 the options are first option is minus 1 second option is plus 1 and third option is 0 and the last one is none of these now let us see what is the answer here now put the x equal to minus 1 in the denominator 6 plus 3 6 plus 3 is 9 and root of 9 is 3 and this is minus 3 so 3 minus 3 is 0 so that is indeterminate form we are getting so use the L orbital rule that is limit of now find the derivative what is derivative of x 1 and plus derivative of 1 is 0 divided by now it is of the type root x what is derivative of root x 1 upon 2 root x that is 2 into root of 6x square plus 3 and into derivative of 6x square plus 3 what is derivative of 6x square that is 12x and plus derivative of 3 0 and plus derivative of 3x will be 3 now substitute the limit now 1 
divided by 2 into root of here minus 1 square is 1. 1 plus 6, 6 into 3 is 9 and root of 9 and into 1 divided by 1 divided by root of 9 into here it is minus 12 minus 12 and plus 3 that is equal to 1 divided by minus 1 divided by 2 into 3 that is 6 and into 12 and plus 3 6 into 1 and 6 into 2 that is equal to 1 divided by minus 2 plus 3 equal to much 1 is the answer which option is there that is the second option i hope